As a registered dietitian, Kelly Scully strives to practice what she preaches when it comes to a healthy lifestyle. I try to have at least three to five servings of vegetables a day and two servings of fruit a day. Um, I'm also an active runner. To limit her sugar intake, she enjoys coffee with artificial sweetener, a substitute that's been questioned by scientists for over a decade. I think there's a lot of conflicting information out there on what's healthy for us, what's okay for us, what's okay to eat, what we should be avoiding. Recently, uh, a very high profile report came out that suggested that artificial sweeteners can induce rapidly a glucose intolerance by changing your gut microbiota. To resolve the confusion, George Cariasis and his team at the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center conducted a study giving the maximum recommended amount of the common artificial sweetener saccharin to healthy adults for two weeks. This allowed researchers to isolate the effects of the saccharin without having to account for underlying conditions or unhealthy habits. They expected to confirm that these substances do in fact contribute to adverse effects. But we didn't. We didn't see any changes at all in gut microbiota, and obviously we didn't see any changes in altering uh, the metabolic profile of healthy individuals. The results give consumers peace of mind that saccharin doesn't drive the development of diabetes and is a healthier option than added sugars, which are well documented to contribute to diabetes as well as heart disease and obesity. At this point, there's no comparison uh, in terms of the choice, I think. But again, like everything else, in moderation. So Kelly will continue enjoying her daily coffee as is, trusting the evidence that it's a healthy choice.